Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Kaylee has some business news for you today. Kaylee? That's right. IHOP is back in the name change game. And thieves target iTunes. Here's what's making headlines in business news. Beware iTunes and credit card users. Scammers are using iTunes as a disguise to make fraudulent purchases. The idea is to make you think you've bought something through iTunes. Financial site Money Tips recommends regularly checking your purchase history to see if you recognize the transaction, adding you should change Apple ID passwords and payment methods if necessary. The International House of Pancakes raised some eyebrows back when it became the International House of Burgers. A year later, the restaurant is back at it again with another name change. IHOP says the P will no longer stand for pancakes, but what the P will stand for remains a mystery. The company tweeted that it will be revealed on June 3rd. Shoppers don't seem too worried about tariffs. Consumer confidence soars to a six-month high in May. Positive feelings about a strong job market are apparently offsetting concerns about a trade war with China. But investors were losing optimism about trade on Tuesday, and that helped fuel a late sell-off in the markets. Home prices are still rising, but not like they used to. A new report from S&P CoreLogic Case Schiller says prices rose in 20 major cities by 2.7 percent in March, compared to the same time a year ago. That's the slowest annual growth since 2012. And speaking of homes, a new survey by SunTrust Bank finds nearly half of millennials who have been married say they and or their spouse owned a home before they tied the knot. And with the Stanley Cup Finals upon us, Boston tops Wallet Hub's list of best hockey cities. The study looks at things like the number of hockey championships, fan engagement, and average ticket price. St. Louis, which has the better team in the finals, is ranked 11th. I do have to say a disclaimer, though. I did say St. Louis is the better team. Some may not take that as fact, so I will go ahead and say that that's just my opinion. Okay, uh, there you go. Bruins have won six Stanley Cups. St. Louis has won zero. So the underdog, you know, someone's got to root for them. We live in Missouri. We have to vote for them, right? Yes, yeah, I cheer root for them. For them. Yes. Yeah, they were going to we win that first game. Um, back to food. No one's really sitting on the edge of their seats for that <laughs> IHOP thing. Mm -mm. Um, something to note, though. Pizza Hut is changing their original pan pizza for the first time in 40 years, making it, quote, crispier. I like that idea. So, can they okay. make it thinner too? So, thinner uh, and crispier? I just, I just heard crispier. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I don't know about the thin part, but a little change up there too. That's good. Wow, so they're changing the original. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. After 40 years? Well, After 40 years. I guess more people are going uh, lower carbs. Maybe they're wanting less crust. or I, wanting, I don't wait, know. I don't know. I don't eat pizza anymore, so I don't remember what it's like. I'm sorry. Um, what? The pizza, <laughs> a pan pizza, isn't that thick crust? Like your personal pan is thicker crust. And then you get the thin, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, I, got, I get confused. Yeah. But you know what makes everything better? Crispier and butterier. Oh, I know. See, butter. Yes, butter is See, good. with crispier, you're like burning those calories. The oven is burning those calories. Oh. But with butter, you're adding those back on. So, no, but I can't butter with, we've got even scales better there. with butter. Everything's, Everything's better, with better with butter. Everything's better with butter, for sure. <laughs> and one last quick note uh, on the uh, iTunes thing. I'm checking my credit card, and there are some things on there that I didn't purchase, I think. So I'm going to have to look into that. Yeah. Change my yeah. uh, password. Thanks, Kaylee. You're Thank welcome. you. All right. Coming up, Megan Buckbinder of the Springfield Little Theater is here talking all about Footloose, the musical. Oh, yes. Don't go anywhere. Ozark's Fox AM. We'll be right back.